Hi everyone, this is my submission to the 2021 Build on Redis Hackathon. This project is called RecuLite and it's a way of combining Redis and SQLite. This project is a runtime loadable extension for SQLite that's written in Go and it implements Redis commands as SQLite extension functions. So it supports both scalar valued and table valued results and I'm gonna showcase right now just some examples around the LRange function, which is a pretty interesting use case. So I'll start by pulling up a SQLite shell, and next I will load the compiled uh, runtime extension. And I have a locally running Redis instance um, with some dummy data that's been loaded in. So I will show what that data looks like with an L range call as a SQL statement. So this will show the first six um, items of this Redis list called jobs. Uh, first six because of how these arguments work in Redis. Um, but you can see that each item in the list is a JSON blob. It has a type and it has some dummy customer information that's just been generated. Um, and it looks like a file name. Uh, but just for the purpose of this example, it doesn't make too much sense, but it's meant to represent kind of a background job queue that you might find in an application. So I'll clear the screen and show another query that can be run. So this query relies on some built-in JSON or uh, SQLite functions for extracting JSON from text, but you can see here, I'll run it again, we're extracting the job type and the customer's username. Again, again, the dummy data. So you can see these are the, the types of jobs in the system, and then these are the usernames for the first six in this list. So I'll show another slightly more complicated query, which does a group by and an order. So it's grouping by the job type um, here named task, from again, from the results of this L range. Uh, with 0 to 500 as the, as the arguments. And you can see, for instance, that there are 111 send two-factor text jobs in this list, and then the other results below. Uh, cool. So here's another example that can showcase a little bit of filtering, right? So this will only, this will select from that same L range, that same um, list of jobs, but it will only select the send welcome email jobs and it will pull out the customer email that was used. So you can see a whole bunch of send welcome email type jobs and then a whole bunch of customer emails that were used. Again, these are dummy emails. So this extension also works with the Redis JSON module. Um, so I have some JSON loaded in uh, into Redis, into Redis JSON under this key, city bike stations. Um, so I'll show what that looks like. It's a lot, but it's, you can see from the bottom here, it's uh, one big JSON array, essentially, and it represents city bikes in New York City, uh, docking stations, I believe. So if I run this JSON get, and I can pass in a um, path parameter to extract a field. So this will pull out just the first station in that list. And I can see uh, that JSON blob here. So I have one last query that takes advantage, again, of those built-in SQLite JSON functions. Um, it's selecting from that JSON get again, and it's gonna tell me the um, it's going to select the names of docs or of the, sta the station names where there are more than 50 docs. And that's what I see here in the result set. Cool. That's all I have for my example, for my demo. There's a lot more in the project, in the README. Um, I'm working on adding full, full support for uh, read only Redis commands. And there might be room for adding write Redis commands as well. Um, I hope you like this. I think it's really cool and I'm excited to keep working on it. Thanks.